Hello everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I'm going to share my experience of using these Rye Cable Daedalus series. These are made in Italy by Rye Cable using their own Mark uh, Copper Conductor. So according to Rye Cable, their Mark uh, Copper Conductors are 70 to 80 percent more efficient in transferring the signal than regular oxygen-free copper conductors. In Rye Cable offering, this Dadela series is second from top of the line range. I started off with this two meter long the USB cable. This one uses your really good connectors, high quality, very solid aluminum connectors. Hence, this one is a little bit hard to bend, especially if you have a really tight space. So I want you to be aware of that. Overall cable is pretty stiff as well due to all the layer of uh, shielding to reduce EMI or RFI noise interference, which they did really great job on that. This one really shows the uh, quality built. I was using my reference, right? That is uh, Oya Eden Neo Class A USB A to B cable. So as soon as I replace with this right cable daughterless USB cable, what I notice is the, a little bit more uh, cleaner upper range of frequency with a little bit more air and space. For the base, I have to give it to Oya Idea cable. Right cable have a very good base quality as well, but a little bit softer presentation. Oya Idea Neo Classic cable is a little bit more punchier and slightly more transparent. This one is very transparent as well, but not like studio quality kind of transparency. This one is total hi-fi quality transparency kind of uh, nice and smoother engaging tonality with good balance overall sound signature. If you are looking for high quality built USB cable, I can easily recommend you to try it. Probably best built USB cable that I have ever seen, but it is stiff to handle. So I just want you to be aware of that. Next thing I tried is this XLR cable, very same Mark copper conductors. This one is more a little bit more flexible and it uses the uh, new trick connectors. So which is my favorite connectors aside from a Vibok. A little stiffer co in comparison to my reference Mogami cable which is a W2549 base XLR cable I use on throughout my system. This one I connected between my amplifier and my deck. I try one week with this USB cable and then I moved to this XLR cable from my reference cable. What I noticed is the uh, slightly more transparent compared to Mogami cable. Like a little, it's like a, a little bit lighter presentation as well in upper range of frequencies. And then bass quality is nice and deep and overall sound is I have nothing to complain. Probably this is the uh, one of the best XLR interconnects that I have ever experienced in terms of transparency and accuracy and overall sound quality. Based on my testing here and back to back with the studio quality Mogami cable is capacitance or resistance should be same if not better. That's why it has total transparency and very clean sound signature all over the frequency range. So compared to Mogami, this one may be a little bit softer presentation if, if I want to go down to detail. Base quality Mogami will be a little bit punchier. This one is a bit softer presentation again. So this Daedalus XLR cable is one of my favorite XLR cable in overall sound and build quality. Since I built my own cable, so I am very picky with overall build quality. I can easily recommend you to try it. This XLR cable is excellent cable to have and Kudos to Rye Cable for offering these cables. And next one I tried is this power cable, Daedalus 
AC power cable. It comes with this uh, very solid uh, IEC connectors. This one is so solid. It's really tight as well. IEC connection is really tight. If you have a small component, <laughs> it might break it, so please be aware of it. But if you really want solid piece of connection, these are probably one of the best that I have ever seen. And I open it inside as well. They have really good built quality and very clean built. Another thing I like about this one is flexible, very flexible, so which it makes it this one top heavy. So it's a little bit hard to control time to time because these connectors are really heavy. So I tried this at power cable on all the decks that I tried. First week with USB, second week with this XLR, third week with this power cable. So what I can notice is a little bit cleaner and darker background in overall sound reproduction. So my system consists Pioneer TED S1 EX, Cap R11, and JBL L100 Classic 75th Anniversary Edition, as well as Musician Night One Bookshelf Speakers. When I change to this uh, dataless AC power cable, sound quality improvement is very incremental. It's just a slightly darker background and a little bit cleaner presentation in overall frequency range. I did not notice the uh, uh, bass being deeper or thicker or bloated kind of thing because some AC power cable will do that. This one has a really clean bass quality with very transparent sound. It's only benefiting your system in darker and cleaner background. Otherwise, you will not be noticing much different in overall sound compared to XLR cable or this USB cable. But it is noticeable if your speaker or if your system is transparent enough and high resolution. So this cable, if you want high quality built, these connectors will last you lifetime and I open it inside as well. So they have really good built quality. Next one I tried is this right cable dataless speaker wire. Spade on the amplifier side and bananas on the speaker side. The so banana plugs are BFA type, good quality built. When I change to this speaker wires from my reference cable with custom built design, what I notice is this this cable introduced me a little bit less clean bass re reproduction. It has the deep sound signature, but bass is slightly less refined. I think probably uh, these connectors are holding it back in overall sound quality wise. And next thing that I like to mention is these rubber boots, right? These doesn't belong in this price point because I'm not really a big fan of rubber boots. It has to be all nylon sheathing with good quality shrink tubing because these rubber boots will get sticky over time if you use them long enough and due to uh, temperature and humidity and everything as well as these are a little stiff to handle. If they change it to regular nylon sheathing, this one will be more flexible and easier to handle. The connectors and rubber boots need to be upgraded to high-end quality connectors. That is my least favorite of these speaker wires. Overall sound quality, upper range of frequencies are very clean and transparent sound. The bass just need a slight improvement. These banana connectors and spade connectors needs to be improved. Those are the weakest link in this speaker wires. Probably due to these connectors, I was having that experience. I was gonna try without these connectors, but I don't want to take it apart and rebuild in it, so I didn't try it. Overall stereo image using with these cables, very good. Only Again, little downside is this speaker wires, which really bothers me with that low end response in my system. Your system may be different stories, but I strongly believed 
if they change the connectors, it will totally transform and it will totally improve the sound because other cables are really good. I can easily recommend you to try this XLR cable, USB cable. These two are my favorite of these four cable combination. Sound sample that you will hear is using all these cables. You will hear with Pioneer TED S1EX. When I try with JBL-L1, classic 75th very same thing that this speaker wires truly shows here a little bit of boominess in upper bass region and slightly less clean for my taste I'm really picky when it's come to that kind of sound reproduction so when I try with Kef R11 thickness shows as well doesn't matter which speaker I was using so overall sound quality I would say this one is four stars in my system this XLR cable is total five stars worthy as well as this USB cable this power cable compared to my uh, PS Audio AC12 or my own design cable this one I would say around like four and a half stars in my system that is my experience I try these cable back to back with other cable as well five to six hundred dollars range or eight hundred dollars range of cable although they are no longer my reference cable I still have them so I compare them I really think this XLR cable totally shows here really good sound quality compared to those as well this usb cable is very good to have and power cable if you want high quality connectors and good quality built i can easily recommend you to try it the speaker wires is need to be a little bit improvement so that's it my friend that is my experience using these cable in my system overall i'm very impressed with the way that they built the way that they sound and particularly my favorite is this xlr cable in my system highest recommendation thank you very much for watching and happy listening
Upper grade on the bass, Mr. Pony Boy Keskis on this. On the guitar, Ornamayos Keskis on this. Yeah. 